is Ms. Shannon from the Macedon Public Library, and I am here today with an arts and crafts project. So today we are going to be making these egg carton flowers. So this is what we're going to be making. So the materials that you're going to need is an egg carton, and then you also need a canvas of some sort to put your flowers on. So I'm actually just using a piece of cardboard that I painted white on mine. So something a little bit sturdy if you want to use cardstock or if you have an actual canvas, you can use that. And then we're also going to need some paint, um, any color that you would like and a paintbrush. And then you're also going to need something for our stems. So I am actually be using newspaper and I'm going to roll my stems um, into little tubes. Um, you can use a pipe cleaner or a straw or anything that you have around the house that you would like to use. Um, something, or you can even draw it on, but I think the 3D looks pretty cool by using the newspaper. And then we also need some scissors, and then we need glue of some sort. So I'm actually going to be using a hot glue gun. So if you are going to be using a hot glue gun, make sure you have an adult to help you. Um, but you can also just use Elmer's glue. That works as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to need our egg carton, and we're going to open it up. And then we want to cut out the little um, egg holes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out one. So this step can be a little bit tricky, just trying to get all the way inside of our carton. So if we need some help from a grown up, Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make one flower. Um, I have a couple already made that I'm going to stick on there too, but I'll show you how to make one flower. So I have one of my little egg carton bits cut out. So this is what it looks like. And now we need to shape our flower. So we're going to cut the edges. And in the end, we want it to look like this. So you're going to cut little holes in our egg carton so that it has a flower shape. So you'll have four petals by the end. So we're cutting. So this is what mine looks like to begin with. And then I already have one started here. So I'm using that as a guide for my other petals. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this a little bit more curved. And then for this one, I just need to make a cut down the middle so that it matches my other flowers. So I just cut out a little bit of a flap there. And you can just kind of play around with it until you get the shape that you'd like. And then we're gonna snip the edges a little bit. The maple might look a little bit different, but that's okay. And I would recommend using a cardboard egg carton for this because the we're going to be painting our flowers and it's not going to stick very well to our styrofoam. So here's my little flower. This is what it looks like. And so now I just need to paint our flower. So I'm actually going to paint my flower purple. So I'm going to put my screen down a little bit so that you can see my space. I have my paintbrush. You can use any kind of paint that you have at home. I'm just going to make a little puddle and we're going to paint both the inside and the outside of our flower. And again, you can make these any color you'd like. You could even make them multicolored if you'd like. So we're going to go ahead and paint this. There's lots of little dips and curves in your egg carton, so just try to get into all the little nooks and crannies. And I need some more paint. So this is a great way that you can 
recycle your egg cartons and have a fun craft to do for the afternoon. And it is springtime, so it's a perfect springtime craft as well. All right, so I have the inside of my egg carton painted. So now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the outside. Done. Once you get down to the very end, it will get a little bit messy because you'll run out of space for your fingers to go. You might have to touch it just a little bit. Get the rest of the paint on there on your edges. All right. So I just about have this all painted. I'm gonna set that down real quick, wipe my fingers off. And then on mine, I just have a little different color on the center to be uh, the centerpiece of your flower. So I just used some yellow. Um, so I just squirted a little bit of yellow on my page. And then I actually just used my finger. So I just dipped my finger into the yellow and then I just kind of put it right in the center of my flower. So it just gives it a little bit of an accent and something cool to look at. I've also seen them with uh, a button inside. You could really use any materials. You could use a button, a pom-pom. You could get creative with your flowers. All right, so while this is drying, we can go ahead and make our stem. Let me get our little area set up for us. And I just used a piece of newspaper. You can use a piece of colored paper if you'd like as well. And we're just gonna be rolling this up into a little tube. So I'm gonna be starting with a corner. And I'm just gonna try to make it very small and start to roll it. And I have a glue stick here actually, and it helps to glue it along the way so it doesn't unravel. So once you get started, I just put a little strip of glue on my page. So that once I get to that point, it won't unravel on me. You're gonna keep going and your, your tube should get longer. So pay attention to the outside corners of your page, just so they don't um, get too wide. And we're just gonna keep going until our whole page is rolled up. So the stiffer type of paper that you have, the stiffer your stem will be, is something to consider, but I found that the newspaper works actually pretty well. As long as you have a big enough piece that you can roll it up multiple times. All right, so I'm coming to the edge, and then once I get to the very edge here, I like to put glue across this whole spot so that it's completely sealed. All right, and here's our little tube. Put a little glue at the edge, the cam is done. All right, and we now have our little edge. Let me get so I have a couple prepped over here. So I have two little tubes over here, and I'm actually just gonna cut this one in half. So you're gonna measure how long you'd like your stems to be depending on how long your, your canvas is. Here I have three, then I'm gonna cut it once more, right about there. And so now I have four stems. So there's that. So now you're gonna get your canvas. And again, I just used a piece of cardboard from a cereal box and I just cut it to size of what I liked and then I just painted it white. So then it looks nice. 
All right, so I have four flowers that I'm going to put on mine today. All righty. So I'm going to put my stems on first, and I'm just going to place my flowers roughly where I'd like them so that I know where to glue my stems. So get it roughly in the orientation that you'd like, and then you'll know where to put your stems. And you want your stems to kind of come to the middle so that it looks like a bouquet. And I take my stem and I just kind of flatten it on one side because we're going to put it underneath our egg carton a little bit. So we're actually going to glue it to our egg carton. And that's another way we can do it. So I'm going to use hot glue and just put a little dab on the bottom of my egg carton and stick my stem on, press that down, and I'm going to do that for all of my flowers. I'm going to press down on the end of my stem, put a little glue dot on my egg carton, and stick it on. And again, if you are deciding to use hot glue, just make sure you have a grown up with you. It is hot. Here's number three. This is my last one. All right, so I have all four of my flowers ready. So now we just have to place them on our canvas. So I'm gonna put a glue dot all along the bottom here so that our whole thing sticks. And I'm just going to press down. That right. More glue. There's number two. I'm just going to cut a little bit off my stem so that it matches my other ones. One last one. All right. So there's all four of my flowers onto my canvas. And that's the about what it should look like when you're all done. So that is our final product. And I hope you guys make a lovely bouquet of flowers. So thank you so much for joining me. Do you guys have any questions? No? All right. We'll see you again soon.